Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, today I'm going to be working on my 335. Uh, pretty much going to go over and swap my bumper out to one that's not cracked up and all that good stuff. And ironically enough, I'm switching it out for another bumper, which is not another bumper. It's actually the same exact bumper, the same exact lip as how it was before it got damaged in the first place. Um, so first thing I'm going to have to do is go ahead and... Um, wash it off the old dirt and all that good, good stuff and then um afterwards mount it up on the car so at least today most people if they have not seen how to um what's the word remove a 335 bumper which should um be the same for all all e-series bmws um you at least get to see it today okay so i'm starting to go ahead and um take this bumper off the first thing i'm gonna have to do is get the car actually the front part of the car in the air so i can take the wheels off to get access to the two screw bolts so they should be like one here and one here on the bumper tabs on the sides and another one over here here and here uh don't worry about that spray <laughs> um let's see pop the hood Yep, and then the last of it is this bolt, this bolt, that bolt, and that bolt. So four bolts in total. Not in total, like four up top, two. So eight bolts in total to hold this whole bumper in place. Plus, if you have an under tray, which I currently don't run under tray underneath my car, um, you'd have to remove those also. So yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get this side up in the air. And while I'm at it, at it, I'm gonna try and get this stud off. Okay, so the wheels are off, so now to take the bumper off. Uh, mine is looks kind of mangled, but it'd be like these two bolts right here on yours when you see it. Um, you see all of mine's is like exposed. I don't um, I don't have the trims on it. Cause you have to order like a different belly pan for the M-Tech bumper. So yeah, never ordered it. So runs pretty fine. Keeps the engine actually a lot cooler. More air is coming up, but just gotta be careful of where you're driving over and stuff like that. Okay, so I have this side off and it's the same thing as the other side. Two bolts and it'll come off. As you can see right down here, these would be the bolts areas that you would um, take off if you had like the under tray still connected. But yeah. Okay, so it's off. These pieces are off. So the only part that's left is uh, these four bolts. These should be the same for your car. It's the only standard part about my bumper that's mounted still good. Let's see. I think it's a... Nope. There we are. It's a... Let's see. T30. So... And they're not that all they're not um that tight, so they come off pretty easily. One thing you should make sure of when you're moving a bumper, make sure to unclip your um fog lamps since mines are clearly busted out uh, since mines was clearly busted out as you can see um, I didn't have to worry about disconnecting them 
But in your case, make sure it's disconnected or the bumper is going to be hanging onto it. Um, yeah. What the heck is this? Oh, see, this is why I don't like to have shops work on my car. Everything that's happened to my car has been like not even. I expect if I didn't, but it's like actual shops that actually mess up people's stuff. Like, look at all these bolts. Which one is not the same? See, what the heck is this crap? Oh, that's why I tend to work on my cars nowadays, man. So anyways, um, let's take this little grommet thing off. This pops up, stick it up here at the side, bring it over here. And all I need is like one hand really. Bumper is off. So first things first, I gotta get this all wired up and it's pretty much mostly wired up like already. I just gotta make sure everything is um, good and not gonna like electrocute anything. Not electrocute anything, but go bad or cross or check if there's any bad grounds or anything like that in the system. So everything went a little bit sour. Um, end up having to go to the discount auto or wherever up the street to go get some 3M tape. So I go ahead and get this lip put onto the original bumper because I'm looking at the old bumper and not yet, the new bumper I should say. And I'd rather use my original one compared to this one. So I'm just swapping out all the parts that was missing on mine and placing them over here. So now all I gotta do is get the lip put on and I'll be good to go. So currently right now, I have my M3 uh, bumper on there so I can go up the store. I never mounted on my car, so um, I don't know. Still needs to be cleaned up and then reprimed and ready for paint for it to be used again, but um, it's just a tent bumper for now. Damn it! <laughs> oh, man. This day is not going by great at all. So came back and uh, tires actually, I have a nail in my rear tire. So it's a slow leak right now. So I came home and still didn't give me any warning. I'm still at like, what, 34 PSI in the rear. So I guess sometime in the week, I'm gonna go ahead and get it um, plugged or looks like it's time to get new rear tires anyways. But came back and I got the bumper all situated. Got the 3M double-sided tape on it and two screws at the bottom and it fits pretty snugly. So I'm gonna let it sit right now and um, come back and uh, put the bumper on. The only thing is the ballast that came for the HID fogs, they don't work. So I'm gonna have to get, actually looking at them, they don't look like they're even supposed to work, but I don't know. Um, I'm gonna test them manually, and then if anything, I'll just go ahead and get like a new, two new balances for them. Cause I really wanna see, I actually really wanna have, I've been wanting to have HID um, fogs for a minute. Yeah, the car's done with the front. I just need to get like some um, touch up paint, get it fixed up. I still need to recode my angel eyes. So 
once I get that recoded, I should the front should be looking nasty. And I need to go get some um, new ballast for the HID fogs. So they're not that expensive, so I'm pretty happy about that. So yeah, came out pretty looking good. And I'm about to go sell this um, bumper. This one. So yeah making some money today and this one i want to sell also it's it's an m3 rev bumper i don't have any of the grills and stuff it just needs to be uh well the rest of the um what's that thing called opacity needs to be cleared off ripped off and then reprimed and it'll be ready for um bumper duty again also I might just sell it with the lip also so i don't know well, till next time.